In this episode, you will see how steel profiles are made. Steel profiles. They are the most commonly used structural and reinforcing framework in millions of different products. What does such a profile look like from a profile? Are they always the angles, channels, T-sections, or U-profiles we know so well? And how are they manufactured? To find out, we went on a visit to Vojkovica in the Silesian province, where the plant of Profil NR a manufacturer of open, welded, special profiles and reinforcements for PVC windows, doors, and pipes is located. Ready? Let's get started. First, the tools for profiling parts are prepared in the design office. In doing so, it is necessary to determine how many forming stations will be able to produce a given profile, and thus adjust the appropriate production line. Special computer programs make it possible to check the quality and suitability of tools even before they are physically made. Once approved by the designers, they are made from pieces of steel bar cut with a bandsaw. These are slices of the appropriate width. About 400 kilograms of steel are processed here in one day. After drilling a technical hole in the cut slice, it travels to the lathe where it is given the right shape. To make the tool precise, it needs some more work on it, so it goes to the grinders. The first grind of the face of a given tool, that is, its right and left sides. In this way, it adjusts them to an exorbitant tolerance measured in microns. The second machine, a CNC, grinds the pre-drilled hole. This is necessary to put the tool on the machine properly. Accuracy, also micron quality. At this station, cutting plates are prepared. By the method of electrodeposition, they are given a shape following the profile that will be cut off. All the work is done by a special wire made of brass immersed in water. Meanwhile, the raw material is prepared on the sledding line. Here, sheet coils are cut into strips of different widths, depending on the profile to be made. Sheet metal from 1 to 5 millimeters thick and coils weighing up to 30 tons can be cut here. The coils are first loaded onto a decoiler. Then the sheet is automatically dragged to a section of knives that cut it into strips. The line is additionally armed with a set of crosses that allow for automatic knife changes. The tape now travels to the coiler and then to the carousel. Up to 30 tons of tape can be hung on each arm of the carousel. With a slight dizziness, it goes to the profile forming line. At the Vojkovica plant, one of the profiling lines has 30 stations for forming sheet metal into the appropriate profile. Tools are used on them, which process was shown earlier. We see how a strip of sheet steel is put on a decoiler. It is now pulled through the profiling line. If a larger batch is produced, the ends of the tape rolls are welded. Later, the profile is shaped, straightened, and dried from the emulsion. The emulsion is needed to absorb the heat generated during friction. The last stage is guillotine cutting. It is fast, accurate, and waste-free. The finished profile is headed for packaging and shipping. Let's have another look at a slightly different type of production line. It differs from the previous one in that it has a set of two hydraulic presses with a pressure of 50 and 15 tons. These presses allow for perforation of the strip before the profiling process. They are also equipped with a set of rollers to smooth the strip, which serves to level out deformations. As a result, 
Profiles used in the heating, ventilation, and refrigeration industry, among others, are manufactured here. The profiles have the function of mounting rails for suspending various equipment. They are also used in sanitary systems. This is just one of the many products produced at Profil NR. More than 500 shapes of steel profiles are offered to customers here. If you like this episode, you should see how a steel mill works.